Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be answering a question that maybe some of y'all have, maybe you don't have it, but I've had it in the past. Which camera do I need to buy? Which video camera do I need to buy? Now, um, almost everybody has a smartphone these days. The smartphones are great. Um, they're portable, they take them around, and we depend a lot on smartphones to take video or pictures. And they, they do a really good job. Um, for a portable device for both of them but when it comes to buy the time that we decide that we need something different than a smartphone a, vi a video camera which one do we need um there's a lot of point and shoot cameras out there and 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 they do video too and stuff so it's getting kind of the waters are getting murky as far as what we really need to buy nowadays. Um, there's real popular on the market are the little action cameras like the GoPros. This is a, a, a little uh, GoPro, Co GoPro style. I say GoPro style because it's a little square box kind of camera. This is what's known as a sports action camera. Um, they have a really good function. They really, they fit a very particular niche, which is high movement, um, action style video, which traditional traditional cameras really do a poor job of, and that's why they've just exploded on the market in the last you know five six years. They're becoming real popular, so everybody's looking to them to provide a solution um, to their everyday video needs. But the question is, do they do that? Will are they an all-in-one solution to take the place of your smartphone and stuff like that? Well, we're going to look at that today. Now, I grew up a long time ago. No, dinosaurs were not roaming the earth, but it wasn't too long before after that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm older and I remember the day when, uh, when you know, vi little video cameras first came out. I mean, I literally owned the very first model of uh, Sony's 8mm Handycam when it came out. I mean, no, no joke. I mean, this thing was a little square box about this big and uh, it, it basically took video and that was it. Um, it didn't have zoom or anything like that. And took a lot of, a lot of uh, good video of that back in the days when I was doing my uh, exploring in the Amazon jungle, which is uh, kind of where my name comes from, the uh, Jungle Explorer, because of my years back then in the 80s doing explorations in the Amazon and things. So, um, you know, we didn't have anything nice and light like this. And of course in the 90s, you know, video cameras became a lot more um, popular and started going into the everyday household and they were huge. You had the VHS, you literally took a big old square VHS tape and put it in there and you held this huge camera and it was about this big, you held it on your shoulder. Um, and uh, and stuff, so they, they became huge, and then they started trying to get smaller, and they had the VHSC Compact, and so on and so forth. Well, nowadays, um, everything's gone digital. We don't have to have those big tapes that have to, and all that mechanical mechanism. We go down to digital, um, you know, we have little micro, everything, you know, nowadays uh, is, you can go all the way down to a micro SD card, which this is just an adapter, ah, come out. So, I mean, that right there, and you can hold hours and hours of footage uh, on that, um, and you don't need those big tapes, and we've really uh, made some good advance advancements in technology, okay? So the question is, is once you've reached the limit of what you can do with your smartphone, what do you need to buy? Um, do you need an action camera, or do you need a, a, a camcorder? This is a camcorder. So, what do you need to buy? Are they the same? Do they sa perform the same function? Well, actually, they do not. They, they have their functions and they're different. Um, if you're say, let's say you're a, a guy who likes to surf and you wanna be out on the beach, uh, you know, and you wanna, you know, take some video of your surfing out, you know, you know what do they call that? Catching some waves or something like that. You know, hang 10. Um, you're gonna want an action style camera that comes with a waterproof case. It's light, you can put it on your head, on your chest, and you can attach it to your surfboard. Lots of different things you can do because they're lightweight, they're small, and you can put them in a waterproof case and they can go a lot of, a lot of places. So is this the camera you need? Well, if you're doing that kind of stuff, yes. But having said that, the action camera has some pretty strong limitations to it. 
It works in that environment. It's very good. I'm filming this 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 film right now. I'm taking this vi video with an action camera that's mounted to my head. So see, see, there you go. <coughs> okay. Um, they work really good um, when you're moving around a lot and you're not doing a stable thing. And it's it's good for me because in my case, I don't have a person to video for me. Um, I'm doing all everything myself. So I need the, the, the footage to be on target. And basically, wherever my head turns, that's where the footage is. So I'm always going to be on target of what's right in front of me. And so I don't have to worry about somebody, you know, uh, if I position a camera in a single spot, then I kind of have to position this where it's inside the field view of the camera. So when it's on my head, you know, I'm always going to be doing what I'm looking at. So it works really good for me in this case because I don't have a film crew that's uh, following me around, that uh, you know, tracking my every need. So it works really good in this case. Okay, but it, but there are cases that it's not going to work good for. Um, the the main advantage of the action uh, the sports action cam is that it's a wide angle lens. Now I don't know if you can see this here, but you can see there there's a little bit of a, a dome here. I'm I'm not sure the words concaved or convex. I'm thinking convex. I think concave is when it's in, but either either way, one of them. It's a little dome there, and um, what that is that's called a fish eye lens. Uh, a fisheye lens basically is kind of stretching reality. Uh, it's uh, because the, the lens actually sticks way out past the edge here, it's allowing the light to come in from the sides of it, um, so it's catching a wide angle. This camera um, has a 180 degree uh, field of view, all right? So it can actually capture almost half a half of the the spectrum or actually a half of the spectrum so this camera can shoot almost out to the side like this okay um, so when you have a wide angle field of view you get a lot less movement distortion um, see if I shake my head like this it's not making you sick if I were to focus in on a dot on the wall in front of me and shake this camera like this, you wouldn't be able to see anything. And so in a fast moving environment, these action cams, because of the wide angle fisheye lens, it, you don't get that, that rapid just screen, panning across things. It, it helps in a, in a fast moving environment and that's why they work so good um, for that. Having said that, I actually think the video quality that they produce is really not that high. I mean, even GoPro stuff, I've looked at the video quality. It just really isn't great quality video. Um, if, you, if you're a real pixel peeper, a person who really kind of looks at the detail in there, it's not that really good. They don't really make really super high quality video, but they are very useful for what they, their, their, their purpose is, and that's for fast action video. Now, the camcorder is kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to, to video. It can take a wide angle, not quite as wide angle. I think this one uh, can go out to, say, um, it doesn't actually say it's a 28 millimeter. Now, think of an old 35 millimeter film lens. That, that's actually the size of, of the, the, the box, but this is 28 millimeter. I'm thinking it's probably going to get about 140, 100. 100 and maybe 120, 140 degree angle uh, of view when you have this thing zoomed all the way out. Um, while I'm talking here, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on and, and I'll kind of give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about here. Uh, open this up. Make sure the lens is open. I love this camera. It has a, a, a built-in lens cover. Uh, this one doesn't have that. I love cover. I hate getting my fingerprints on my lens or getting a scratch on the lens. So what I'm going to do here is uh, zoom this all the way out. This is, has no zoom function on it at all. And uh, go ahead and start filming here. And I'm going to throw these two things up here side by side so you can actually see what I'm talking about as far as field of view. They're right next door to each other. Um, you can see this camera. Let me move back a little bit so you get a little more. Okay, so on this camera right here, you're actually seeing over on the corner 
I'm going to throw them both up here on the screen. You're seeing on the little action camera, you can see part of a window seal in the bottom of a picture. Whereas on this camera, you're not seeing that. Okay? I have to kind of raise it up. There's the picture there, but the window seal is still not quite as far. Uh, it's not in. So the field of view on this, when totally zoomed out, is not nearly as big as this. Okay, but if you look at the quality of the video of this, it's going to be a lot better than this. Because this is actually made, it's, it's, because it's not kind of stretching reality, it's actually got a bigger uh, sensor in it. It's making better, better quality video. I'm going to throw it all at full screen here for you. You can see that. And then I'm going to throw the action camera footage up here. And you'll see that. And you can see that they're good. It's good. It's just not quite as good as this. This has some better quality, more detail to it. Okay, so let me turn these off here. All right. So we've got that there. Now, let's say there was something on the wall that you wanted to look closely at. Um, you wanted to look at a spot. Well, this camera does not zoom. So if you want to look at something real close, you know, you got to move real close on it. And there's that little spot up there. Okay, I'll throw that up on there. And you can see that. It's not really good, okay? With a, a camcorder, you actually have a zoom capability. So, let me go to that little dot there. Right there, okay? So, I didn't have to move. I didn't have to move the camera, I just had to zoom the camera. Now, these little camcorders, this one right here um, is, is the Panasonic HC V180. Uh, they have a newer model, the V180V. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, it has a 50, uh, a, a times 50 optical zoom lens. And it has a 500 times digital zoom lens. Now, let me explain that to you. Um, an optical zoom lens means that you have two actual pieces of glasses, glass, that's actually focusing and magnifying. Kind of if you've ever had a magnifying glass, the further you pull it away from something, the, the bigger it gets, the closer it gets. Well, you have an actual pieces of glass, lens or camera lens glass, that is actually performing the magnification. So an optical zoom lens is actually showing, magnifying the subject. So it's not actually reducing the quality of the, the, the subject. Uh, what you're filming, it's magnifying it. Now that's different from a digital zoom. A digital zoom is not actually magnifying the subject. What it's doing is cropping the subject, uh, which is basically if you take a picture and you put it on, on your computer and you take photo editing software and you want, let's say you want to cut out somebody's face, and then you take and just draw a little square, a little crop square around their face and you cut that out and then you blow that up, you're expanding that person's face. You're not magnifying the face, you're expanding it. And a lot of times if you expand a pers uh, the, you crop a person's face out of a picture and expand it, it's not going to look good when it's all blown up. It looks fine when it's little, but when you blow it up, it gets distorted and pixelated. So a digital zoom is actually doing the same exact thing, but it's, it's, it's actually cropping the picture. It's, it's cropping it and expanding it. It's taking a smaller piece of the picture and expanding it out. And that's why digital zooms always add a little distortion into the actual um, quality of the video. Now this has what's called right here a 90 times intelligent zoom. Okay. Now what that means is, is that it's not only going to crop it, it's going to enhance it, it's going to try to preserve the uh, uh, original quality. So it has a 50 power optical zoom lens. That means you're going to get 100% clarity at 50 power optical zoom. Now that's a very strong zoom lens. Um, that, that'll really get you long ways out there um, and bring things in close. I've done some testing with this. And uh, I've gone, you, taken all the way out to the 90 power intelligent zoom. And I'm going to tell you this does a really good job of attempting, even at 90 power, to observe, to keeping it within, I would say, 90% of the original quality of the optical zoom, zoom range. Okay, and that's kind of a technical thing through right in there uh, that just kind of explain to you what's going on. A, a sports action camera is not going to have this function. Okay, it doesn't have that capability. It, uh, oh, sorry. 
it uh it has no zoom capability at all now there were some older ones that had a, a zoom function on them and you could kind of zoom with these buttons over here some of them do but it's just basically cropping that video and it really reduces the quality of it very quickly uh, because why well think of copying a piece of paper on a uh, photocopier you put it on there and you make a copy of it the copy never looks as good as the original when you copy if the original is an already poor state the copy is going to look a lot worse if you have a really crisp sharp original and you make a copy the copy is going to look pretty good well the sports action cameras their the video quality is not that good so when you crop it and try it, you crop it out it really distorts it okay let me give you an example i'm going to show you uh, a, a video of a dove hunt here where i shot two doves in one shot and then i'm going to show you a cropped up version of it where i tried to zoom in and, and all i did was crop the video uh, on my computer so that you could see closer and you'll see how distorted it is <laughs> See how distorted and pixelated it is okay that's because I cropped that video and when you crop bad quality video you don't get very good quality results okay this is where your camcorder is going to come in and it's going to do a better job of that um, because it has an optical zoom lens you can zoom in then on things a lot closer and it'll do better so what I'm going to show you here uh, when I was in Costa Rica I went to the uh, Antonio, the, the, the Antonio Manuel National Forest, um, which is a wildlife preserve, and was uh, got to see some capuchin white-faced monkeys there. It was really cool. Um, so they're up in the trees walking along, and I've got my GoPro or my, uh, my, my action camera on my head, and I'm filming them with that, but you can't see them. You can see the trees, you can see some movement of the leaves, now you see me with my you see my video cameras in my hand right here you see it now i've got it up here and what you see is i'm zooming in on that monkey and now i can see that monkey walking along and that's perfect perfect video right there that monkey now i'm gonna put just the the video of the monkey on there w taken with this and you'll see how clear it is see see that that's just crystal clear um, that monkey's a good 30 yards away, and I'm getting this great footage because I have a camcorder, okay, a camcorder, and it's, I'm not having to move, I'm not having to climb the tree to try to get it closer, and so the action cam does good, but it's not really good in that situation. Um, same thing, you'd have the same problem with your smartphone, you'd have the monkeys in the tree, but your smartphone would not be able to take good quality video of them. So, you know, that's where your camcorder is going to come in. And even though it doesn't have as wide of angle of film as the action camera, it, does, it is able to take more wide angle film. The other thing with that the benefit of a camcorder is that um, has, first it takes more higher quality video. It also takes, um, it has a better sensor so it's going to be better in low light. It's going to, um, you know, it has the zoom fun function on it. Um, it has a m bigger battery, a longer battery time, um, and it has a lot more that you can do with it. Um, so it, it's a much better option. Is it the perfect option for you? Who knows? It depends on what you want to do. Um, you might say, well, you can't mount this on your head. Yeah, there actually is head straps for this very model of camera. Um, is it going to be as 
I would say as useful as this one, no. It's going to be a little heavier on your head than this, but if the head strap's good, it's you're going to be able to use it. Um, so, you know, what you need depends on your uses. I just wanted to kind of show you the uh, possible possibilities of of the differences and let you decide what which one's going to work for you. I think that I like both of them. I like both of them. I, I use the action camera and I use the camcorder. If I was going to have to choose one, I would probably choose the camcorder simply because it has more function and more utility. And But at the same time, the action camera is really hard to beat too. So if you can afford both, take them both. They're not much, there's not that much space that they take up. They're pretty lightweight. Um, so hopefully this has helped you out to understand the differences between an action camera and a, and a camcorder. And uh, if you like this video and it's helped you, please like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to share my video. Also visit my brand new website, thejungleexplorer.com. Um, check it out there. I'm posting these videos on there as well as on YouTube. And, uh, you know, uh, I also um, take photographs and go to my photograph page. I've got hundreds of photographs I need to put on there. When time comes, I'm, I'm adding more and more uh, photographs on there. Just Those are just free for you to have. Just download, use them, put them back right on your computer, whatever. Uh, I just like sharing the stuff that I see and take pictures of. So, anyways, until next time, The Jungle Explorer, signing out.